It's 1920 and life is good in southeast Arizona. The Great War is over and Pancho Villa has finally retired from revolutionary life. During the last several decades, the railroads have opened the doors to commerce with the rest of the nation. Small settlements are becoming cities and throughout the southwestern U.S., mining is king. The mining community is growing rapidly and the ore is good. But dynamite, so critical to unlocking the wealth of the mountains, must be shipped in over great distances and at great expense. The first yellowed page in the red leather-bound book is entitled Certificate of Incorporation, Apache Powder Company. The date, May 19, 1920. Ornate fountain pen signatures witness the birth of a new company. Within two months, southeastern Arizona was abuzz with the story. A new explosives plant was under construction south of Benson. Sites were being prepared for a powerhouse and a machine shop. A map dated June 27, 1921 shows about 70 buildings in place. They carried interesting names. Acid plant, dope mill, dry house, nitrator, denitrator, case house, laboratory, and box mill. Just two years after the corporation was born, on April 28, 1922, Apache's first stick of powder was packed. The desert hillsides had been converted into a working dynamite factory. There were buildings and tanks and miles of roads, pipeline, and railroads. From our perspective, nearly 100 years after the initial construction, the magnitude of what went on there was almost unbelievable. More than 100 buildings were constructed, some involving complex operating equipment. With today's resources, it would be impressive enough, but consider the equipment and resources available then. The machinery and power tools we now take for granted hadn't even been invented. Earthwork was done by teams of horses and mules. By 1925, Apache was flying high. In a press release, an Apache manager noted, Our plant covers 700 acres of land with 141 buildings. We sell enough powder in one year that if the sticks were laid end to end, they would reach from San Francisco to New York and back again. And that was just the beginning. Apache Powder Company eventually became the largest dynamite production site on earth, producing more than 2,000 cases of dynamite a day. 